What's up YouTube? Fred here. So it's been a little while since I've done any kind of motorcycle content. So I know that those of you who like bikes and Ducatis and things like that are out there and probably like, hey, why are you doing all this car stuff? So today I'm doing a video uh, related to the Ducati. So uh, if you recall, I bought a used 2012 Ducati Street Fighter 848 and I had the intent this year of using it just for track riding. That didn't pan out because, well, the virus happened and then everybody's schedules got changed. And so I haven't done any track riding on it. I'm hoping to do one uh, September-ish. Um, there are a couple track days that are open then. Um, so hopefully I will be able to do a track day on it this year. Um, next year I'm going to do a lot more. So thanks for joining me. If you're new to the channel, I do car and motorcycle stuff. And with that, let's get on to today's video. That looks kind of silly. All right, so I wanted to do kind of a minor, more cosmetic upgrade for the bike, and so I bought a new set of levers. These are the levers. They are Pazzo gold levers. Um, in person, they look more gold than they're coming out on video. Uh, on the video, they look a little bit more orangey, but they're very solid, they're aluminum. They've got the click adjusters, so you can choose exactly how far from your hand uh, and from the hand grip the levers will be. And so we're gonna go install these. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do just to make this a little bit easier is we're gonna get this mirror off. It's a six millimeter bolt uh, for an Allen wrench. Pretty easy. Pop that off, and that's just to get it out of our way. All right, so according to the directions, we're gonna remove, start with the brake lever. So that's this guy. So this is gonna be right about here. You can see the stock adjuster is basically a threaded one. So you can adjust the, the distance uh, and it's got notches in it. This one actually is a lever, so you can change the adjustment. The higher the number, the further away from the handlebar that the lever will be. So you can adjust it for the hand, size of your hand. Remove the re retaining clip on the master cylinder pivot pin underneath. Well, let's take a look. All right, so it talked about removing a retaining clip on the pivot pin. That's actually, on this bike, is actually just a nut. So it's a four millimeter Allen on the top and it's a 10 millimeter uh, nut on the bottom. It looks like, it looks like this nut has a, uh, like a Delrin or some other synthetic, uh, retaining mechanism so it just doesn't slide off, which is always good. Once removed, the pivot pin slides up and out. So, sure it does. <laughs> doesn't slide. On this bike, it screws out. So this is a uh, four millimeter Allen. All right, so here's our pivot pin. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically smooth on the outside, threaded on the bottom for the nut, and that's what the uh, whole assembly pivots around. So we're gonna take a clean rag. I'm gonna wipe off, there's a little bit of grease on there. I uh, will lubricate that when we put it back in. And there's the lever. All right, so I had to look it over a little bit to fi figure out what the directions meant. The, well, I guess it's down here. Um, the new levers shipped with this uh, little aluminum pin that's kind of got a, a cut-in section on it. And this actually fits right in the collar of the steel pivot bushing on the stock lever. What that means is that this is actually going to be used to tap that steel part out, which is then going to let us get the captive uh, brake. Yeah, a little. It's going to let us get the the captive brake foot out of out of this. So, all right. So here are the parts that came out once I popped that pin out. So I've got the lever. We don't need that. You can see that the adjuster is retained. We've got the pin that I used to push this steel collar out. 
Then we've got the pivot head, which you can see that larger complete hole, that's actually where the steel pin was. And then that kind of like just over half moon shaped one, that's where this went. So this is the little piece that uh, ends up going in the new hand grip. Um, we're going to clean it off and we're going to put some grease on it so it pivots smoothly. Um, and we're going to go and clean the dust boot that goes around it. Um, but then we're good to put the new lever on. All right, so we've got that pin is now in here. Uh, you can see that I put some grease. Uh, I don't have more hands, but basically, so it fits right in here, like so. And you can see it pivots, and then the grease is all over it so that it doesn't have any binding or sticking. So carefully, you just sort of line things up. So I put grease on the pivot pin that was already there after cleaning it up. So we'll use that. So we're threading this in. And now I can see right here it's coming out in the bottom. So we'll just go until it's tight. Don't have to go real tight. Uh, we're using a steel screw going into aluminum, so you don't want to go super tight. All right, and we're taking the nut with the little captive ring on it. It's going on the bottom here. This 10, 10 millimeter. And this will prevent that thing from ever backing out, which you never want to be without brakes, let's be honest. See the different adjustments? So when you're on the bike, all the way up to six, I'm usually like, I'm usually somewhere around here so you can get a finger or two on it. That's all you need. Cool. All right, so the brake lever is done. And that actually looks pretty good on the bike. Onto the, the clutch. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna pop the mirror off. The process is largely the same. We're gonna take our 10 millimeter wrench. What is it, four millimeter? Yeah, four millimeter Allen. Two birds with one stone wrench. I'm just gonna back the Allen out. That'll release the nut. You can see that it has a uh, like Teflon ring in it to keep the bolt captive. Back this guy out. We're gonna clean that and give it some grease as well because this is what the lever pivots around. Wow. So I don't think the camera will really pick this up. But the uh, the grease on it has completely like lost its <laughs> it's dried out. However that happens, whether it evaporates or something, I've never seen that before. So that one's gonna need some cleaning. But you go carefully to pull it off of the cylinder here. We've got our same captive pin. This guy right here. That's gonna go in the new lever, clean that off, put some grease on it. And this little pin here, this silver pin sticking out, I never noticed that before, but there's a little switch here, a little solenoid, and I'm betting that this is telling the engine something about, hey, the clutch is, is in, whether it changes the way the engine runs, whether it opens up or turns on something. Um, but I saw that the new lever has that, so we're in good shape there. All right, so right here we've got all the kind of same parts. We've got the pin I used to pop out the steel cylinder. We've got the steel, steel pivot head. This is the thing that actuates the clutch, so we're gonna keep that, clean it off, and grease it. Um, and then this is the little pivot arm and the spring for keeping tension on it. All right, so, so I've cleaned and greased the little pin that we're gonna put in the new lever. So we're gonna put that in, like so. That's pretty easy. And then I've also cleaned and greased the new pivot pin for the lever. So we're going to take that, and I cleaned the little boot here, by the way. 
So we're going to fit that in the boot. I'm going to adjust the lever in, push in our pivot pin, take our Allen wrench. Oh, that's going way smoother than before. Uh, it's amazing what cleaning and some fresh grease will do. And then we've got our little captive bolt that we're going to do, our 10 millimeter. So that goes down below. All right, so now if we get on the bike, you can see we've got our clutch lever here. There's very little play in it, which is nice. Then we've got our brake lever here. I'm going to pull that a little closer to me. There we go. And this one I'm going to push out a little bit. Nice. All right, so I'm just going to pop the mirrors back on and then uh, take this thing out for a little uh, practice ride just to see how it goes. This thing on? Open up all my helmet vents. It is hot today. Bike's showing 75 degrees, but it's warmer than that. All right, so check out these new levers. It's not quite the same shade as the gold on the, the gas tank, but I'll take it. Trust my mirrors since I had them popped off. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this thing is a hoot. Oh yeah, love this bike. Oh my goodness, do you think a car is fast? <laughs> Get one of these. Man, I've been spending a lot of time in the Grand Sport, and I mean, it's an awesome car, and from car perspective, it's very fast. Uh, this thing is like a whole nother level. And it's just the acceleration. I mean, I think, I think if you got above about 100, 120, the Corvette would pull way out ahead of this just due to aerodynamics. But man, I, I think this thing, the acceleration, like 0 to 30, 0 to 60, 0 to 90 probably, uh, this thing is scary fast. Uh-oh, we're getting a few drops of rain. We'll keep this quick. I might get a little wet. Now, the GoPro that I'm using, this is my GoPro Hero 3 Silver. Silver Plus maybe, uh, is not waterproof and I've got it in a skeleton case so I can hook up the uh, microphone so you can hear what I'm saying and that means that <laughs> I don't want electric water to get in the sides of it so we may cut this real short. We'll do a quick quick loop and get back home. Really I wanted to just test is the clutch good, is the brake good, are the levers adjusted correctly and they seem to be. They're comfortable. I may play around with some of the distance settings just to see. But not bad. Oh yeah, and I forgot I'm wearing a untreated nice leather coat. I think it was like a $500, $600 coat, so I should probably turn around. Love how these look. Let me adjust and see more pull. Oh, I don't like that. Let's go less. So that's nice and close, and the engagement is actually the first like inch. See how it revs when I pull off? And the brakes, I've got those pretty much the way I want, the right distance. Uh, maybe go out a little. Nope, too far. One click. So what are we at? We're at three on the brake and three on the clutch. Go figure, my fingers and my hands are the same length on both sides. How about that? Oh man, this, this bike is so awesome. 
just instant torque, tons of power, looks to kill. I mean, this thing is so good. So these are the new lovers. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, Fred out.